Well, hello, my fellow Americans and fellow Christians, and thank you for joining me for another day of the Word of the Lord here in the United States of America. Peace be unto you, and peace be unto the world. My fellow Americans and Christians, the legalizing of drugs in the United States is going to lead to an unprecedented change of American ideals, which in turn will lead to a society of wickedness. The way of truth will be hidden even more. Marijuana laws and the use will change the spiritual mind of citizens blocking ideals in life. The Greek word in the Bible for witchcraft includes the definition of drugs and immorality as its secret intent. This definition is the genesis of psychological changes that destroy not only Christian ideals, but standards and ideals of living which are necessary for the stability of any society. The moral disorder that we are already experiencing is nothing compared to what shall take place in the coming times and the legalization of drugs. This is not entirely wrong and most people agree our society is already in trouble. For years I have been reporting the abuses of violence, the change of moral order, the refusal of common unity, the indecency of individual character, and the continual decline of Christian values which seek only happiness, prosperity, and well-being over true Christian faith. My argument has been this will lead to a bizarre and out-of-control behavior which we are already seeing. And in our nation, which we are experiencing today, we already, even possibly because of our passivity and lack of unity, will see war on our shores. It is more than obvious that we are no longer under the protection of the providence of God. Enemies have already entered our nation, and the continual drive of NSA to have access to all activities in the information queue is nothing short of a warning that great threats to our country's security is already happening. Say la vie, which means what the heck, is the motto of American culture. This is a scenario for destruction. In any game we play, there are guidelines and rules to the game. Life is no different. If America continues to go out of bounds concerning ideals of living, we shall no longer be the new Jerusalem, but the breeding ground of every overt act that destroys a nation. Revelation 18.2 says it no better, and this is what it says. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. It has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Other versions use the words a haunt of devils, which implies a psychological play upon society. Now the next verse says something even more terse. For all the nations have drunk the wine of passion of her immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed acts of immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich by the wealth of her sensuality. Though I am reluctant to say the United States is Babylon the Great in the Bible, at this time we are the only nation that fits the description and continue to fulfill its prophecy. I have warned of the economic, economic crisis before it happened. I have warned of violence increasing into bizarre and high anus crimes which we see. I have warned of the troubles in the Middle East and the decline of American power. I have warned of social disorder. I have warned of Christian persecution increasing, which a report just came out yesterday stating it has more than doubled in the world in the last year. I continue to warn of religion interfering and meddling in politics, which can and possibly lead to a tyrannical dictatorial state, which is exactly the description of Antichrist. I am now warning that the legalization of drugs in America will eventually lead to a wickedness no one ever dreamed of happening.
The subtlety is the ingredient for future troubles and dark times in America. The prophecy about Babylon the Great in the Bible ends with the great city being burned to nothingness in one hour. Ironically, in the prophecy of the Apocrypha book of Esdras, it speaks about an eagle being burnt up. This is what it states, And it came to pass, while the lion spake these words unto the eagle, I saw, and behold, they appeared no more, and the whole body of the eagle was burnt, so that the earth was in great fear. And we know that the United States, its representation is the eagle. Now Ezra did not know the meaning of the eagle, and then we read that this is what it says. And then he said unto me, This is in the interpretation of the vision. The eagle whom you saw came up from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of thy brother Daniel, Daniel in the Bible. But it was not expounded unto him. Therefore now I declare it unto thee. Behold, the days will come that there shall rise up a kingdom upon the earth, and it shall be feared above all the kingdoms that were before it. This is possibly the United States. And now we read further who the lion is, and this is of great interest. It states, And the lion, whom you saw rising up out of the wood, and roaring, and speaking to the eagle, and rebuking her for her unrighteousness, with all the words which you have heard, this is the anointed which the highest has kept for them and for their wickedness unto the end. He shall reprove them and shall upbraid them with their cruelty. For he shall set them before him alive in judgment and shall rebuke them and correct them. Now we not only hear the words kept them unto the end in this book, but we also read that Ezra speaks in thanksgiving he was allowed to see the last days. You can find these writings in the Apocrypha, 2 Ezra chapter 12. There is no doubt we are living in dangerous and perilous times. The Bible is holding true to its predictions. Let me read to you 2 Timothy chapter 3, and this is what he says. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people. This is not only a description of the United States today, but that of the entire world. The warnings are in place, and the Holy Spirit is making it plain to this nation the consequence of immoral and decadent behavior. Come to Christ, for His coming is near. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.